I was up to my neck in crack and holes at the age of six. Hey hey, that was Up to My Neck in Crack, the new single by Derek Finch, currently riding high in the US Billboard charts, and I'm pleased that Derek with his ukulele is here with me in the studio. So Derek, welcome to Fiasco TV. Hello. Now, you of course became the first ukulele player ever to sign for Death Row Records. That is correct. Uh, the head of Death Row Records uh, saw me in a George Formby convention up mm -hmm. in Batley, and uh, he wanted me immediately to go over to America and uh, you know start recording. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, I was on tour in Doncaster with Notorious B.I.G. at the time, so I couldn't really do it. That was the Novo tour, wasn't it? That is correct. Huh? Now, Death Row, of course, uh, normally the home of gangster rap, but you're a 55-year-old family man working in the Doncaster branch of Mr. Minute. Uh, Quite unusual signing for, for Death Row, was it not? Very unusual, uh, Paul, especially as I was getting more into grime and two-step at the time. So how did your type of ukulele music uh, fit in with that particular West Coast state? Well, the naughty lads in, in LA, they like, you know, they like crack and holes and they like the music to be about crack and holes and shootings and guns and what have you. Whereas I'm more non-eaten bus step or anti macassars mm. quite frankly, but we've rubbed along. And then of course out came your first single, which was uh, a George Formby cover. Yep, When I'm Cleaning Windows. They, they liked that a lot and they also wanted uh, I Tiddly I Tie Island for the uh, Ghostface Niggas in Ski Mask EP. Somehow that didn't quite come up. And uh, When I'm Cleaning Windows featured Snoop Doggy Dog of course. Snoop Dog Doggy, Snoop Doggy Dog. Good old Snoopy. Lovely guy, very warm guy. Um, he was, he was very into what I was doing. Um, he was recording his album Doggy Style at the time, but he, he made time for us. He came up to Rotherham for two or three days, hung out of the studio, and even played a little bit of kazoo on one of the tracks. Right. And uh, now I believe you're going to play uh, When I'm Cleaning Windows for us now. Oh, I am indeed. If you want me to attempt uh, Snoop's kazoo part. If you think you can do it. You're messing with dangerous gods, Paul, but if you think you can do it. I, th I think I'm up for it. Um, okay, so uh, take it away, Derek. Recognize. Now I go cleaning windows to earn an ominous pub. For a nosy pocket, it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me. Window cleaner I would be. You ought to see what I can see. When I'm cleaning windows, when I'm cleaning windows. Cleaning, cleaning, tripping on the leaning window, bossy, on my losses. Derek Finch there, currently on tour with Naz and Jay Z. And now, as part of our Cultural Diversity Week, it's over to Poppies, one of England's premier public schools, where head boy Smoothie Peter Eccles is performing Things Done Changed by the Notorious B.I.G. So, over to you, Peter. Thanks, Derek. <clears throat> Remember back in the days when niggers had waves, gazelle shades and corn braids? Pitching pennies Honeys had the high-top jellies, shooting skelly, motherfuckers was all friendly. Lounging at the barbecues, drinking brews, with the neighbourhood crews hanging on the avenues. Turn your pages to 1993. Niggers is getting smoked, gee, believe me. Talk slick, you get your neck slit quick. Cause real street niggers ain't having that shit. Toting texts for rep, smoking blunts in the project hallways, shooting dice all day. Wait for niggers to step up on some fighting shit. We get hype and shit and start life in shit. So step away with your fist fight ways. Motherfucker, this ain't back in the days. But you don't hear me though. No more coca levio, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. All of this to me is a mystery. I hear you motherfuckers talk about it, but I stay seeing bodies with the motherfucking chalk around it, and I'm down with the shit, too. For the stupid motherfuckers want to try to use Kung Fu. Instead of a Mac-10, he tried scrapping slugs in his back. And that's what the fuck happens when you sleep on the street. Little motherfuckers with heat want to leave a nigger six feet deep. And we come into the wake to make sure the crying and commotion ain't a motherfucking fake. Back in the days, our parents used to take care of us. Look at them now. they even fucking scared of us calling the city for help because they can't maintain. Damn. Shit done changed. Thank you very much.